Hi everyone, welcome to Unmold Power BI Corner. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about how you can create a major table in your Power BI report. So before moving to the video, uh, I am Anmol Malvi, working as a senior data analyst at uh, Adend Analytics and I have also been recognized as a Microsoft super user. Do subscribe the channel for more such videos and uh, also share these with your colleagues or with your mates who are learning and uh, exploring Power BI. So now coming to the title of our video which is how to create major table in Power BI. But before it, I will tell you why do we need it and uh, how it is useful. So we work with Power BI reports, we create so many measures. So on the right side you can see in the data pane, I have a uh, few tables, I have created some dummy data and uh, you can see I have some demo measures. So uh, one measure I have in this customer table, other one is in demo uh, second table. The third demo three measure is in exchange rate, rate table. So in this similar way, we can have measures into various other tables. But the thing is when the we work on the real world project, there are so many measures created and uh, it will be so confusing after some time if you go back to that report or let's say if your colleague is working on that. So it will be difficult for him or her to understand the report, understand the measure. So as a best practices, it's recommended that we can create a separate measure table. So let's see how you can create it. So you just have to go to the home uh, tab on the top. You will find out various types of options. So you will have to go to the home tab. Then uh, here you will find out an option for enter data. So you have to click on this enter data button. In this enter data, you, you just have to do uh, provide the name. So let me name it as a major table. So we have entered the major name of the table and what you have to do is you just have to load this. Once you do it uh, within few seconds, this new table will get created. We don't have to add any column or any data into this. We just have to create a table. So right now you can find out this is a major table which got created. And if you explain, uh, expand it, you will find out a column one name. Uh, it doesn't matter much for us for now. What we have to do is let's uh, just go back to our demo one measure. So we have this now and now on the home table tab. So you can see on the top we have the home table. So you just have to change the destination of this to major table and the same thing you can do for the other measures. So let's move this and once you move all this, uh, you can see this column one is not for uh, requirement. We can simply delete this and I will show you how this will help. So once you remove the column, the your measure table will move toward top. So now it will, uh, as it only contain the measures and no column is there, so it will be always be on top. Whatever you name you will provide, you will find out all these measure. So let's move few more measures into this. So we have the demo three measure. We'll click on this drop down and move to the measure table. So this is a way. Or what you can do is you can simply go to the model view. And here you will find out the various measures. Uh, if you go to the table view, you will have to expand each table. But if you go to this model view, there is a particular section for measures. So you can find all of them uh, by using control. You can select these. So now in the property properties pane, uh, you have this home table option. So just click on that and select major table for all of them. So by this method, all the measures will be moved at once. You don't have to do one by one. So this is a, mo a more better way. And uh, in the next video, we will discuss how you can move this into subfolders. So let's say you have various kind of measures. Some are sales measures, some are profit measures. So you want to create subfolders within this measure table. So how you can do it? So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you. If you find this helpful, then like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.